Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We talked about the video about this broken charger in a different video, check it out. So today we're gonna try and repair it so I don't have to replace this whole head. Uh, yes, this is still connected to my charger in the garage. It just happens to reach to the kitchen. So it gives me an area to work on. So we're gonna start off by removing these screws. They are a special, this is a T15H, which has the little hole in the middle. So using my trusty Cornwall set, which has the safety in it. I know we talked about this being safe uh, to touch, but just for extra safety, I have turned off the power breaker to this charger. So let's dive in and see what we're up against. So this last one, the bit did not fit all the way down. Not necessarily the right way, but I just drilled the countersink hole here a little bit to let my bit go further in. As these are the safety bits, I didn't have any other torques that had the, the hole inside the middle to accommodate for the safety screw. So uh, I think wasn't overly concerned. The area I drilled out is not gonna be a stress point. So here comes nothing. Here's what the inside of this thing looks like. I think we're going to flip it over. Maybe. I'm not sure what's going to fall out on me here. Not too bad. Alright, so now the issue I have. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Is these screws are where it's cracked. So we got to take these screws inside here which look to be the same. So we're gonna, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need a needle nose pliers. See, this is where it's broke, right here. So it spins, otherwise I would be able to glue it without taking this all apart. But because it spins, I wanna make sure I get it in the right orientation. So we're gonna grab my needle nose pliers and we are going to uh, unhook it. It's interesting. I'm not sure what this uh, this switch here does. So there's actually a, a switch when you when you unlock it that uh, that actually triggers something. I uh, I'm gonna have to look into that. I'm curious why that actually has a function. All right, Charlie. So <clears throat> why don't you go ahead and I'll push it up. Okay. Try and get it at the base so we don't damage the area we need to glue. Coming. Perfect. Okay, grab it by hand. All right, we'll put this one aside here in case it's different. I don't. It's a little tricky, ready? Yep. All right, beautiful. All right, should be out. Perfect. So I'm gonna glue these tabs back on. So this is what happens when the golf cart meets. Uh, meets the charger. I'm actually impressed that it didn't, uh, it was not worse. Uh, we didn't pull the charger out of the vehicle or out of the wall. So if that was the worst thing that happened. So we'll glue this back on and once it dries, we'll put it back together and see what happens. All right, so when we took this apart, we realized there was actually a third one that was broken in there. So we have replaced all three. Uh, well, not replaced, I should say. We've glued all three uh, posts. And now we're going to reassemble this baby. A little difficult because they kind of slide around on their own. All right, so now that's squishing back together. I'm going to give it a little squeeze. I don't know if that's supposed to be flush or not. It kind of looks like it should. So maybe these wires got to be pulled back a little bit. Slug them hand tight first. going into plastic and not only that we're just going into freshly super good plastic at that so I just gotta there's a little grommet here you want to make sure you get back in that we'll get that back in there in a second So 
side's my flat side. Well, my flat side's this way. We gotta work like this. <clears throat> there we go. This little grommet, that's gotta go right in this little notch there. Make sure your wires are all staying center. We'll get that grommet back in there in a second. Try it up like that. Get that booger to stay in there. All right, that's all down. Okay, let's see what we got. Where's that go? It's a little bit of a challenge. You gotta line up a lot of things to get this back on. I feel that this front can be dead. So I'll check this front again. It doesn't seem right. I feel like the next thing I'm going to fight is this back cord here. Spring in with the hole, that's probably the first key. There it is. Let's go plug it in. Plug it in and see what happens. All right. Moment of truth, I guess. We gotta flip the breaker. Oh yeah, we gotta flip the breaker. I'll be back. Charlie's smarter than I am. So, when you don't have power, you get those two lights, a red light. Obviously you got nothing here, so we'll wait till he uh, flips the breaker for us. Here we go, charging, ready to charge, wheel connected, boom, charge it. So she works, I wasn't necessarily concerned about that as much as I am. Um, yeah, so when you do, that's what that switch is. As soon as you hit that button, Charlie, as soon as you hit that button, it stops charging. Ready, watch. 
kicked off. So that must be what that switch in there was for. So that switch immediately cuts power to the uh, charger. There it goes. So we'll see how long this lasts. Hopefully you don't run over the golf cart with it. That it was wasn't, not... wasn't you. No. All right, guys. So that was a pretty raw video, but that's what the inside of one of these charger handles looks like. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.